Good morning, Bitcoin family. Yes, back at 43k. Uh, good morning. Welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Today, another beautiful video from my garden. Yes, four amazing Bitcoin jars. An amazing trading tip. Yes, a travel advice. Of course, talking about the news because I read some special news again. And yes, giving you some live advice. Uh, it's going to be a short but powerful video because we are going to go on a boating trip to create a fake boating accident where I will lose all my ledgers today. But I will make a family video about that later, guys. Uh, but today, let's jump into the charts first to show you what is happening exactly to Bitcoin and why we didn't go below 40k and where are we going to go now. Let's see. Let's see what the charts have to say. Bam. The first chart for the day, guys, of course, the four hour chart, beautiful four hour chart. You know, remember yesterday when I told you, ah, we have a lot of buy signal. If we close the candle above this yellow stepping line, ah, it would be a beautiful long because the yellow was decreasing. We started to be green. The white line started to go sideways, upwards, blue line crossing above it. Beautiful green line on top here on the bottom as well. Yes, candles closing above it. Beautiful entry of a long, guys. Um, yeah, where do we go? Top of the Bollinger Band, we already touched that. Of course, that's in line with the huge resistance here of 43 to 44K, but that's of course the target. We need to try and break that resistance to go higher to 45, maybe 48K even. That's uh, maybe the weekend. Maybe the weekend is a beautiful weekend again that has a beautiful bullish move. But let's zoom out a little bit because you know for me, I love to look at the bigger pictures. And the bigger picture, guys, we can, for example, Z over BAM here. This is a very beautiful bigger picture. Look, I love this picture. I know Peter Schiff will hate me, or Peter Shit, whatever you want to call him, hates me for this. But this is uh, the hardcore truth. If you put gold against Bitcoin, then the chart is only going downwards. You need more and more and more gold to buy a little bit Bitcoin. And the opposite, of course, as well, you need less and less and less and less Bitcoin to buy an ounce of gold. So this is exactly why we are in Bitcoin, in the gold of the 21st century and not in gold, which is a very traditional store of value that had its best time. It had its beautiful run when the gold spot ETF was approved. That was the beautiful glory times for gold. Now, very boring old guys too. So I would be in the new gold, the 21st century gold, the Bitcoin gold, of which the beautiful spot ETF will be approved very soon. And then you will be enjoying this beautiful massive run. And this chart, Bitcoin versus gold or gold versus Bitcoin, will be like dropping almost to zero then. Because at that moment, like with the smallest amount of Bitcoin, you can already buy an ounce of gold. Now let's jump into some more serious charts over here. This one, for example, is created by Twitter El Crypto Prof. I found it uh, on his Twitter. Um, this chart is a beautiful chart telling us, if you look at the monthly chart, there is two moments that we saw a buy signal um, in that yellow circle. That buy signal over here, I don't know which buy signal he's referring to, but I just want to show you this chart as the, the, the structure is the same. This one, yellow circle, and then we have that buy signal over there. And every time when we see this buy signal, we have massive runs. There's like a 5,000% run. And here again, we saw that same buy signal now in 2023. Sorry, I forgot which buy signal it was. Maybe somebody can comment down below and let me know which one it is. But a very simplified chart that shows you this is a very important moment that we are seeing here. We are probably mimicking this huge run that we saw in 2016, 17, 18, guys. Now, and how would that look? That would look like this. Very beautiful to see now the comparison of all these charts. Uh, let's make my face a little bit smaller. Somewhere here in the bottom there. Um, let's see how that looks. That looks like this, guys. If we look at 2012, we went bam, sky high after the halving. 2016, sky high after the halving. 2020, sky high after the halving. We are now nearing the halving. We are already going up a little bit. You don't believe that we will do this again, all the way up to 2025? I don't believe the numbers that you see here, guys. I don't think that we will go to 1.2 million in 2025. But these levels over here 
115, 120,000, maybe even 130,000 US dollar, that would be definitely be a level I believe Bitcoin could go to. And yes, I know that a lot of you will tell me now, but yeah, if the spot ETF is, will be approved, it will be bigger. Yes, I agree. When that spot ETF will be approved, the numbers could look different. And yes, I will give my opinion on that then as well. But for now, I can't do TA on the past and look at the spot ETF because the spot ETF is not approved yet and there is no history of spot ETFs. That is why I'm not including that bullishness yet. Let's wait with entering that super cycle bullishness till that moment that we really see that the spot ETF will be approved. Now let's jump into the next chart. On this chart you will see guys how your psychology will play a role in this bull market. This was the double top from the previous bull market. Then we went of course to the bear market bottom. I told you then, this is the bear market bottom. We are not going to go to 12K. I told you 10,000 times. You didn't listen because you thought I will buy lower. And then we went up. And then you start to think, oh, this is a bull trap. We will like come back and we will go to that 12K again. And we didn't. We just corrected a little bit. Ah, but I will wait. And then bam, oh shit. Now we are already higher. And you will say to yourself, ah, it's still below the all-time high. Let's see. And every time again and again, people seem to make the same mistakes. You should be buying in these areas when I tell you to buy in these areas. This is the bear market bottom. That's the moment you buy. Now it's still cheap to buy Bitcoin below the all-time high, but a lot of people will now be waiting again. Ah, let's see if it really can break that all-time high. And then we will probably have a very quick push all the way up to a new level that people find too expensive. So I'm so stupid, I will buy in the next pullback, you will tell yourself. And then you're saying, shit, what the fuck, it's even going higher. You start to panic buy. Now I need to buy. And then again, you're probably buying around the top of the new bull market. And that's the wrong moment. You should buy here. You should buy when the fear is there, when the blood is on the streets. Now, and then you think, I bought it, uh, let's pump it, and of course then it will uh, fall down again, just a small correction, and then you will think, ah shit, it's just consolidation before we pump again, and then, whoa, what the fuck, crypto is a scam because you're losing your capital and your value, and then thank God I sold it and I dumped it again around the bear market, and of course then you think I will buy lower, and then we are again in the next bull market cycle around 2029, guys. This is how it works every time again and again. And I'm here and I will keep repeating it. And maybe you find it annoying because a lot of you don't do it like this. A lot of you did listen already for years to my YouTube videos. But for all the newcomers, this is what you will experience when you step into Bitcoin. These emotions. I'm here to just warn you that you shouldn't feel them and you do exactly the opposite of what you feel over there. Okay? Very beautiful chart. Now, then there's one more interesting chart that I just want to show you. Nothing to do with crypto, but this chart um, is showing us how couples nowadays meet in the United States. I just, fun fact, guys, uh, I just like these facts, but now you can see that, for example, in the United States, where we were used to meet people through friends or work or grade school or at a bar or through neighbors, nowadays people only meet online. All of these don't happen almost anymore people are meeting online. And that is why I think that this whole industry of Bitcoin is a very important industry. It's an online world we are living in. We need an online digital asset that will protect the capital and, will be, and that we can use as a peer-to-peer -peer cash to pay for our dates, <laughs> for example. Really cool chart. Also the last chart, let's jump into the next part. I hope you really enjoyed these charts, guys. Yes, I will keep repeating it. It's very simple. If you want to be a day trader, be my guest. Sign up to the Bitcoin family VIP members and ask me any question over there about every trade that you do on a daily basis, on a short term basis. If you don't have time to become a day trader, then don't pretend to be a day trader. Just zoom out in Bitcoin and look at the bigger picture and become an investor. And as an investor, you invest in Bitcoin, then you start to zoom out, look at the bigger picture, you start to zoom in at life and try to enjoy every single minute of the day. So that's the most important thing that you should be deciding right now. Are you a day trader? Are you a swing trader? Or are you just an investor? And when you decided which person you would be, then you act accordingly. So don't be an investor that is doing day trades because you don't have time to do day trading because you have a normal job, for example, and just take your extra capital to do investments. 
And if you want to have the excitement of trading, then become a trader, but then also really be a trader. Not like an on and off switch, like, ah, now one hour I will trade, and now the next three hours I won't be trading, and then an hour I will be trading. Create a structure, create a rhythm, create a day rhythm, where you will trade in the same set of hours, same set of charts, same set of rules. If you would choose to be an investor, you look at the long-term picture, sometimes also short-term. Like, I told you guys to buy Famecoin, also told you guys to buy garbage. Famecoin went live on Bybit yesterday, times 7, 7x project. 10k became 70k, for example. Now today, garbage will go live. Go check the Twitter of garbage could easily be also a 7x or 10x project. I am investing in these projects because of the teams, because of the use case, because of the tokenomics, because of the community. They are just really good projects. I believe Famecoin will go higher and higher and higher. And yes, Garbage probably going to go live today also with a beautiful 7x, 10x, maybe even 20x because it's really a cool project that has a really cool utility as well. Now, let's jump into the trading tip. This week in the trading tip, we are looking at chart patterns. Today, we're gonna to talk about the double top and the double bottom pattern. And you see them here now in the image. And you might think, hey, that's the same like uh, we talked about yesterday. No, that was the head and shoulders and the inverse head and shoulders. The double top and the double bottom is a little bit different. It has a double top, so not just a head and two shoulders, a double top. And when it breaks the neckline, directly, you can see that it's a bearish reversal. So in a bullish move, we come above the neckline, create a top, come back to the neckline, create a top, come back to the neckline, break that neckline, bam, bearish reversal, we are gonna go bearish. If you look at the double bottom, it looks like a W. You come down from this bearish move, you break that neckline, you come up to the neckline, you go to the bottom again, come up to the neckline, and then you will break that neckline directly, which means, bam, again, a reversal to the bullish side. So we have a double top, and we have a double bottom, beautiful patterns that will show you that there is a reversal in the market. Now go check the charts and see if you can find a double top or a double bottom pattern, and if you can see as well if then the reversal of that market really happened. That was the trading tip for today, a double top or a double bottom. Let's jump into the next part. The next part, guys, is the travel tip. Yes, my garden is a jungle. In the travel tip today, before I go into the travel tip, I found this picture on Twitter this, uh, this morning, this one over here. <laughs> I really like it. The police officer is fining this woman to wear a bikini. This was in 1956 or something. Wearing a bikini, getting a fine. Just imagine how many people appearing in my beautiful videos every day would be fined and how it is. Just some fun fact, guys. But the travel tip for today is, if you want to book trips, hotels, flights, directly with Bitcoin or directly with Ethereum or directly with like 20 other cryptocurrencies, you can, for example, use a website like Travala, Travala, T-R-A-V-A-L-A, Travala. This uh, is a beautiful crypto company that already started, I think, in 2017 when I, you know, I started to support them and I bought their token and everything. I still have their token somewhere in my app. I still need to check them. But with Travala, you can book the flights of many air carriers. You can book a shitload of hotels, all the hotels that you can normally book in Booking.com. You will find as well in Travala because they have a co-op with Booking.com. So that's a beautiful website that you can use if you're traveling solo with cryptocurrency. Go there and check the hotel prices when you pay with Bitcoin. And also go there to check the flights if you want to pay with Bitcoins. Sometimes they are even cheaper than Booking.com. Also sometimes a little bit more expensive, so you should compare all of them. But even if it would be like 2 or 3 or 4% more expensive than Booking.com, I would still be using them. Because I prefer to pay with crypto. Because if I exchange my cryptocurrencies on an exchange, on a swapping service, I also lose the fees. So why would I want to lose the fees if I can directly, for example, pay for all my travels directly with Bitcoin? So Travala.com, 
check the website. Um, there is also a referral link down below, of course. The referral link is a very old one, and they are not paying me to do this or to talk about this. Do you hear the beautiful birds here? Wow, beautiful morning. I'm not being paid to chill this. I do have an affiliate link. If you want to use the link, be my guest. If you don't want to use it, also be my guest. You know, you need to help me through this harsh winter here in Thailand as well. Huh? Help Didi through the winter. Use his links. <laughs> that was the travel tip for today, guys. If you want to be fully in Bitcoin, paying for all your flights and your hotels, use, for example, Travala.com. Let's jump into the next part. The next part is the news for today, guys. And in the news for today, I'm going to talk about the European Central Bank. Because the European Central Bank is assessing the environmental footprint of cash. The moment I read a title like that, I'm getting very curious what is in the article. So the European Central Bank assesses the environmental footprint of cash. We all know what this is going to lead to. When they start to talk like this, they want to get rid of cash. Of course, they are going to say now, wow, if so many ATMs up and running 24 seven, using so much electricity, that is very bad for the environment. Ah, we have so many transportation costs, which is really bad for the environment. And let's not talk even about the printing of the money. Oh, where we're using so much cotton and we're using so much water and where we're using so much energy for all those huge fabrics where we are printing that money and then transporting it again from the fabric to the next fabric and all that stuff and all the air coasts up and running. And let's not talk about all the bank buildings with thousands of employees. They all are too cold or too warm, so heating and air cool to create the perfect climate for those employees. But all that perfect climate creation for those employees is destroying our climate. And that's why they are now assessing the environmental footprint of cash. Like I have not been saying already now for years, that the footprint of fiat cash is way worse than the footprint of Bitcoin. Bitcoin is just a couple of machines up and running and 80% of the Bitcoins are being mined in a green way, which means using water, which means using the sun, which means using the wind. The amount of the machines that are up and running to support Bitcoin, the miners, I don't think that that is more machines than we have up and running in all those bank buildings worldwide, all those computers, all those servers all those camera systems in those bank buildings, all those air conditionings, all the lights, all the electricity, 24 seven, all the people driving to the job with their cars and all that stuff. That footprint of the complete banking system is way worse than the footprint of this Bitcoin. That is like being 80% mined in a green way. So now when you read that European banks start to assess their cash, you know they want to get rid of the cash. And that's just step one. Step two is introduce a European central digital currency. Step three is get really rid of the cash. Everybody needs to be in that central bank's digital currency. And step four is you're in digital prison, a digital social credit system prison, because then they can stop you with whatever you want to do. Now you still have a little bit of freedom. If you have your money on the bank account, I don't consider that as freedom anymore because they can freeze your account. If you have cash at home, yeah, you can use it freely as you want. Nobody will be able to stop you with that cash. But the moment they take away that cash and create this digital cash that they control, not Bitcoin, Bitcoin we control, if you create digital cash that they control, European Central Bank's digital cash, then they have you by the balls for all the men. Yes. Very simple. They can freeze your cash whenever they want, however they want, without any reason, or maybe not a reason that you agree with. For example, if you are not wearing a face mask, eh, they will freeze your cash, your digital cash. Or if you, for example, don't vote on the right party, eh, we will freeze your digital cash. Or if you, for example, say something really stupid on social media, eh, that is not the right person, that's freeze his cash. That is the future if you believe in the European Central Bank's digital cash. 
And that's why I believe in the opposite, the freedom, Bitcoin, decentralized peer-to-peer -peer cash that is a store of value. So whenever you read these news items, be aware they are slowly taking cash away from us. I think it's only like 3% of all the money worldwide that's still backed by physical cash. So less and less and less every time again, guys. Now, that was the news for today. Get rid of your cash, buy a shitload of Bitcoins, stop believing in the fiat system, start believing in the blockchain, and that is how you change your life. Thanks for listening. This beautiful rant about the fiat system, and now let's jump into the next part. The next part, guys, is of course answering the questions. Uh, there was a question that was not a question, but was a question that wasn't a question, but it was a guy um, telling me every time again below my videos, you're not answering my question, you're not answering my question, you're not answering my cash bin, uh, question, but you are making a statement. He was saying, Didi, when you analyzed all the candlestick patterns last week, there was one day you told us, ah, I'm using this candlestick pattern only on the daily time frame. And, he say, and he's stating, correctly, but you should also state that for all the other candlestick patterns. To be very clear, all of the candlestick patterns that I talked about, you can use them on any time frame. A candlestick pattern is just a pattern of a couple of candlesticks. One, two or three candlesticks in a row creates a candlestick pattern. It can be on a five minute, 15 minute, like in a one hour, in a four hour, it can be on any candlestick pattern. I was just stating that there was one certain candlestick pattern that would told me the reversal of the market. It was using it on daily. So that's the answer now to your question. <laughs> Thank you for asking it five times. Uh, sorry, I didn't uh, understand it was a question, but I thought it was a statement. Now, the second question was three. Uh, Didi, on which DEX will you be able to exchange your Bitcoins into a stablecoin or your Ethereum into a stablecoin or any other cryptocurrency into a stablecoin? Again, my favorite DEX is Apex Pro. The link is down below. If you sign up using that link, you will get a shitload of bonuses this month because it's this Christmas month and they have a lot of beautiful promotions. And also when it comes to Bybit, guys, we have a very special deal for our Bitcoin family members. At the moment, when you sign up using our link or when you already sign up using our link and you click the new link, the announcement down below this video, you have the option to get a 20 USDT airdrop you can win an iPhone 15, you can win a VIP membership to the Bitcoin family, VIP members, uh, you can win a couple of cool Bitcoin t-shirts. So yes, you have all the reasons to sign up to Bybit or to use the link that I uh, have down below this video. But coming back to that question, so there is a lot of DEXs that you can use to exchange your Bitcoins. It would even be possible, for example, to wrap your Bitcoins into Ethereum, then you have WBTC, uh, that one you can also exchange to USDT on Ethereum. And then whenever you're happy, you're unwrapping them again to the normal Bitcoin chain, and then you have your Bitcoins back. So that's an option. So there's Uniswap, PancakeSwap, SushiSwap, all these swap engines that you can use. Of course, all the DEXs that you can use, like for example, Apex Pro, the one that I am always using, but you can also use, for example, Ledger Live. On your Ledger, you can exchange as well your Bitcoins into stablecoins. There is many options to do that. You need to do your own research and um, research which one you prefer, which one is the best for you. But a DEX is, of course, always anonymous, probably the best alternative out there at the moment. The moment I'm looking to invest in a new exchange, also a beautiful exchange that will be non-KYC, etc., etc., uh, where you will be able, of course, to exchange your Bitcoins or use it in a very creative way as well. But it will keep you up to date about that investment and about that exchange when I have all the documents signed, etc., etc. I will provide you at this bull market up of a beautiful way to exchange your Bitcoins into stablecoins while maintaining all the privacy that you want to have when it comes to crypto, guys. That's why I'm here. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to help this industry grow into a decentralized industry instead of just being on the beach, zipping some Bacardi Coke, enjoying to watch some bikinis. No, I'm still working my ass off and believe me, I really don't need to work my ass off anymore, but I'm doing it all for you guys. So I need to get some appreciation back and you know how you can do that. Give this video some thumbs ups, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, leave a shitload of comments. That is how you help me push my channel above 100k subscribers because I'm still stuck a little bit below 70k. Even reaching 75k would already be a beautiful achievement for me. So help me push this channel to 75k. Let's jump into the next part. The next part, guys, is the live advice. I'm going to keep it short but simple today because I don't have too much time. 
but it's a very simple thing that I use in my life that everyone can use as well. When you will give joy to others, you will receive joy in return. It's simple as that. It's not difficult. It doesn't cost you any investment. You need to give joy to others. And sometimes, yes, it will cost your time. And maybe sometimes it will cost you a little bit of money or Bitcoin to give somebody the joy because they are still living in this materialistic world and they, and they need to receive that materialistic stuff to feel joyful. But also just spending your time, attention, listening to somebody's story will give them joy, guys. And the moment you will start to give more people joy, you will receive more joyfulness in return. It's very simple. Just try it today. When you wake up and you have seen this video, go out there, whoever you see or meet, just bring them joy. Tell them a joke. Tell them they are beautiful. Tell them they're looking amazing. Don't do that in the United States because if you do that there, you can get like a suit because I heard that's like not allowed to give people compliments over there anymore about their appearance. But in the rest of the world, uh, just tell them, wow, you look amazing today and see how their face will change into a smile. And probably they will directly give you the joy back by telling you as well, wow, hey, you look amazing as well, or maybe in another way. But to give joy to people, it's completely free, and you will get a lot of joyfulness back, also completely free, which makes your day just more beautiful. A very simple and short life advice because uh, yeah, I really need to go and create this fake boating accident so where I lose all my uh, hardware wallets. Uh, but I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, then please give the video a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and leave a comment. And please, please, please subscribe. And please, please, please tell all your friends and family to subscribe as well. We need to reach 75k followers. That would be an amazing moon. When we reach 75K subscribers, guys, I will do some amazing giveaways. I promise that. So maybe even jump in the pool, you know, bomber gym, like I used to do. Now, thank you for watching. I wish you an amazing day and hopefully see you tomorrow again somewhere walking on a beautiful beach uh, where we can also see, of course, we, again, some, exactly, that one. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow again. Bam.